Hey y'all, Kenny here. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you an experiment that I conducted with this 180 grain Hordy XTP bullet in 357. Uh, what I did was plug the hollow point cavity uh, with RTV silicone. The idea is to delay expansion uh, of this bullet. Uh, I tested it in two different media and I'll show you uh, some footage of the test and talk about the results. Before I get to the actual test, let me explain why I'm doing this. I tested this bullet in my contender in 35 Remington, and based on those tests, uh, I was afraid that this bullet might open up too much and not penetrate well on deer size game. Uh, but I got a lot of feedback from viewers who have tested this bullet in the field at 2,000 uh, feet per second plus, and they assure me this bullet uh, will take down uh, a deer sized animal. Uh, so that gives me confidence to go ahead and carry the bullet to the woods. I do, however, think that this bullet's going to be pretty explosive uh, out of this pistol at close range. Uh, now, I like a bullet that will dump all of its energy in an animal, uh, but I also like an exit wound for those times when shot placement's less than perfect. Uh, you have something to aid you in recovery. Expansion is initiated in a hollow point bullet when fluids enter the cavity and are compressed. Since fluids won't compress, uh, they expand and that's what opens the bullet. There is evidence to suggest if you plug the hollow point uh, that it will not open as much. Uh, tests done with hollow point bullets in a 9mm handgun showed that if shot through heavy clothing, sometimes the clothing would clog the hollow point and it would pass through like a full metal jacket. Uh, that's the idea behind Hornady's critical defense ammo. Uh, they put a polymer uh, plug in their bullet. It acts as a wedge to initiate expansion regardless of what the bullet passes through. Works much the same way as a polymer tip on a rifle bullet. Uh, now my plugs are not wedges. They're simply plugs to keep fluid uh, from uh, entering the cavity. So theoretically, uh, they'll actually reduce or delay expansion. Before I did the expansion test, I shot a group uh, to test uh, the plug bullets for accuracy. Uh, the lower group you see is a group I shot for the first video with the unplugged bullets. The upper group is the plugged bullets. Uh, I don't know why there's a difference in the point of impact there. Uh, the weight added to the bullets only a few tenths of a grain uh, with the RTV. Uh, I'm certain that there's not enough aerodynamic difference. Uh, to cause that uh, change in point of impact. Uh, could just be me or maybe some hocus pocus. First up is the hollow point bullet in my hillbilly test media. That is two jugs packed with wet rags and then jugs of sand to capture the bullet. I found that it is a pretty reliable indicator of how a bullet will perform on a game animal. A little hard to get a hand on. So, uh, it completely separated. That's another separated bullet. So that one actually stayed together. Barely, but it stayed together. Next up is the plugged hollow point, same media. So that one took a beating, uh, but it's still intact. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There's the bullet. That's another good one. Let's take a look at the results. On the left are the hollow point bullets. They range in weight from 130 to 150 grains. One bullet maintained its integrity on the right are the plug bullets. 
They range in weight from 140 to 165 grains. All those bullets maintain their integrity. Now, while there's not a drastic difference between the two, uh, the plug bullet does seem to have a slight advantage. Next up, I shot the two bullets into jugs filled with water. One, two, three, and into jug number four. And that's a separated jacket. I'm not sure we captured a bullet. There's one, two, three. Getting to be a big hole right there. Four. I guess the bullet is in number four. I hope. Maybe not. Looks like it went out the side of the jug right there. It hit this jug right there. So let me look around. See if I can locate it. I found both pieces about two feet uh, from my target here in the leaves. Uh, and as I anticipated, uh, it did uh, have a jacket core separation. But this bullet did fare better than the hollow point. As you can see, we'll weigh them and compare the weights. Uh, but it also passed completely through four jugs and the other bullet passed completely through three jugs and was captured uh, in the fourth. On the left is the unplugged bullet. I realized later that I had the jacket swapped in that photo, but it doesn't really matter. The unplugged bullet weighed seven grains more than the plug bullet, uh, but the plug bullet lost most of that lead in that last jug. You could hear it rattling around. Actually, uh, made me think that the bullet was in there, and you could see that lead fly out when I shook the jug. Uh, it also penetrated all the way through the fourth jug uh, while the uh, unplugged bullet got captured uh, in that fourth jug. I don't know whether you noticed it or not, but it seemed for whatever reason that that plug bullet hit the target with a lot more authority. Uh, you could see the cinder block roll away. The test was set up exactly the same. So no real clear winner here. If there is an advantage, I would say the advantage goes to the plugged bullet. The only way I'm going to know for certain is to field test these on game and I'll see what the difference is. At least I satisfied my own curiosity. Uh, now I wonder how this test would pan out with handgun bullets. Uh, so in the future, I may give that a try. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.